Hey, the practice, when it does reopen, I don't think TK should moonlight there. Well, I, I know it's not ideal, well, He needs but... to focus on ED. Is there a problem at work? Yeah, he's tired and the staff are getting sick of coming from him. Well, I do not think it was that bad. It is. I don't want him making mistakes because he's too worried about your plumbing problems. It's a leaky roof. Whatever. Where is this coming from? Do you want the practice to go under? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, then give TK a break for my sake, please. You know how much this means to me, and I really need him. Okay, and if you were running the emergency department, would you leave the moonlight on business that has nothing to do with the hospital? That's right, you'll fire his butt. Okay, compromise. I'm happy for TK to work at the practice as long as his work in ED doesn't suffer. Okay, thank you. Hopefully it won't be for too long. Look at us. We've only been in the door two seconds and we're already bogged down in boring work talk. Hey, mm -hmm. how about I take us out for a welcome back dinner? Oh, sounds great. Two conditions. One. Uh, we don't talk about work. Two. Cell phones off. Yeah. And a third condition. Optional. Mm -hmm. We finish that conversation about Henry properly. You got it. So, how's she doing? Uh, to tell you the truth, pretty good, actually. Been a few minor hiccups, but uh, nothing major. And we dealt with that MRSA patient a lot quicker than I thought we would have. Time management? Better than most. If there's one thing having three kids has taught me, it's how to manage my time. <laughs> good teamwork. You too, keep it up. You say your coffee? Later, eh? I think someone's waiting for you. Do we have to do this now? Yep. <clears throat> Okay, you first. Okay, um... You were right the first time. I shouldn't have done that. You, uh... You've been working long hours and... You're exhausted. Yep, that's it. And, and next time I'm all sad and setting up the waterworks. So. I'll just uh, pat you on the back, tell you to suck it up and get back out there like a normal friend would do. See, you're not a normal friend. TK, you're a really good friend. And they're pretty hard to find these days. I know. And I don't want to lose that. Me either. A good friend's allowed to hug. Of course I can. Yeah. Dan! Hi, mate. Oh, all right. When did you get back? Ah, uh, this morning. How'd you go? Uh, to be quite honest, it was pretty rough. <laughs> well, things haven't exactly been smooth sailing here. Mm, Sarah told me you moved out. Yeah, well, did she tell you why? <sighs> Thanks for letting me stay at your place. I didn't want to seem ungrateful, so... It's not your place, it's your home. Move back in there. <laughs> nah, because then I'd have to look at Mum all day. Ah, uh, okay. You need some space. I get it. Um... Heading off anyway to Indonesia. Oh, what, that computer job? Yeah, they still want me. Oh, get you. Finally, someone that thinks it's a good idea. Are you kidding? You know, get out in the world, make some money, make your mark. That's what I want to do. And your mum and TK, they know all about this? Yeah, they're not too happy. But they know it's a done deal, so. When are you off? Well, they're just busy sorting my visa now. What's this? Ah, just a little something to keep you fit and maybe a new pair of jeans. I mean, if you're going to get pumped up for class, you're going to look good. Dude, it's like over a thousand bucks in it. <laughs> oh my God. The cash that you're just carrying around. That's a long story, and no, I didn't get it from the casino, okay? Just take it, Daniel. It's yours. <laughs> Are you sure? Just promise me one thing. If it's about my no, money. it's about you. Just look after yourself. The psych team are with him now. I hope they can help him. Me too, but you know how it goes. Yeah, he doesn't fit the criteria. Then he's back on the streets. You said that you and him were close in East Timor? Yeah, we were tight. He had my back, I had his. 
Then what happened? Oh, Warren couldn't cope. When we got back, he got into drugs. We drifted apart. What did you mean when you said that things got messy last time he was here? Well, whatever happened, you must still mean a lot to him if he came here to find you. Yeah, part of me wishes there was more I could do to help him. Well, even if the psych team can't section him, they can still point him in the right direction. As if he's going to take their advice. Dinner tonight. You and me. Let's do it. I thought you were helping Vanessa with her portfolio. I'll tell her something came up. Something much more important. $1,500 and he gave it to you just like that. It's your carter, here I come. But hey, what about Kim? Last I heard, he was doing okay. Back to Jakarta. You sure you're doing the right thing? I've got to get as far away from Mum as possible, or I'm going to lose her. Well, Hamilton's far away, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> look, don't you see Maxwell giving me this money? It's like a sign. Not that you should run away. When I split with Kieran, I tried that. Then I thought I wanted to reinvent myself, start all over again. Oh, was that the mad punk phase? <clears throat> now I know that you need to just accept the past for what it was and move on. But that's what I'm doing. I'm moving on, not running away. Yeah, but you have friends here. You have family here. You have family who will pay for your tuition here. TK will feed you. You've got it made here. And what do you have in Jakarta? Heat rash and food poisoning. <laughs> oh. Play nice, okay? Hi, Sophie. Hi. Daniel. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that there are still a few things in your room that you might be missing. Just so check it all out. What about your MP3 player? You must be missing that. Mm, it's not mine. Well, it's not mine, so it must be... Yeah. It's your mate Lawrence, like I said. Just check it all out. Look, it's okay to hate, but not for too long, okay? Dr. Worthington, Eileen was just wondering when she can get up and about. I'm afraid your blood tests show you still have a low-grade infection. Well, when can I get out of bed and have a walk around? It's hard to tell. We need to get rid of the infection before we start you on rehab. So until then, if you want to move around, you're going to have to use a wheelchair. If you have any other questions, get a nurse to page me. I'm such a daffer down, Dilly. This is all my fault. You couldn't help the fact that you fell. Well, that's the thing, Wendy. The fall. I did it on purpose. What are you talking about? Well, when you said that people who broke their hips could get an operation right away, I thought... You didn't. Uh, I thought I could beat the waiting list, get a new hip and get back on my feet. <sighs> but look at me now.